What's up guys, Shockway640 here, and today I am back with the Super Deformed Neo Zeong. And this will be the combination sequence and the review of the actual Neo Zeong itself. But before I do that, I actually forgot to show off a feature on the shield. And moving off the Sinanju real quick, let's take a look at that feature. Uh, it's with these little uh, beam axes here. I'm just going to pull off the grenade launcher piece and set that over to the side because we're actually not going to need that anymore. And basically, uh, you can take these axes here and you can pull them off and flip them around and put them on the opposite sides like so so that you have them in this configuration with these little posts facing on the outside if you don't like that you can of course just like flip them around I think you could possibly do it I don't know you might be able to make it where that looks a little bit more appealing but you can't really tell it that they're there all that much but they are kind of weird looking uh, and then you take these two beam effects right here which are nicely detailed they're decent um, the high grade looks way better and I'm sure the master grade looks even better, but they're decent for how small they are But you do t you just take the shield and then you take the uh, Corresponding piece it has got like this little beveled section right here and you line that up with the part with the tabs so that whenever you Use these two tabs and you put it on it lines up at the top Perfectly and then you grab the other one and you do the same so put that on put it on and there you basically have the shield with the like lance on it. I don't know what this weapon's called, but uh, you can it's still ta attach it onto the Gundam and use it as uh, a weapon. Or you can actually just pull the axes out themselves and then he can hold them and wield them separately. Just like so. Just slide it into the hand like that. And then he can use them separately as axes or spears. Because that is why they have the sharper part, because I do believe that he uses them as spears. Or you can take them both and one of the adapter pieces. And then you just grab the other blade, and you can either plug it in this way, or you can plug it in going this way, which is the way that I like. And then you can make him hold it onto either side, and then he can have the double-sided one, like he does in the show and the high-grade model. And so, actually, uh, we're just to continue this, we're just going to leave these off, because I don't think it'll fit on there if you have them on. So I'm just going to pull off the beam effect parts and just set all of this to the side. I'm just going to pull that off as well. And that will all be set off to the side. So please excuse me for a second. I will be right back. Alright, right back. Uh, okay, so let's prepare this Ananju for the combination sequence. So just lowering the camera down a little bit so we can actually focus on him. Also, if you want to see the review for this and Andrew, just check my video right before this one, and that is the first part. So, to prepare this and Andrew for combination, what you want to do is you want to come in here, and you just want to pull off the arms. You don't have to pull off the arms, but it makes it so much easier if he just doesn't have his arms for the combination. So, uh, setting the arms off to the side, like so, and then do the same on this arm. Set that off to the side real quick. And then you want to come back here in these white fuel tanks. You just want to pull them off on their ball joints like so. And make sure the ball joint is still attached onto them. So just like that. Set them off to the side. Do the same on this side. Set it off. Also, you can plug things into the back of the uh, thruster pack right here onto the top one with the uh, peg. It is meant for one of the combined transformation things that it has, but... Like I said, that thing was dumb, so I didn't even bother showing it off. But you can just look it up. There's instructions for it on mech9.com and all over the internet. I've seen it many times. <clears throat> so if you really are interested in seeing what that looks like, just go ahead and take a look at it online. It's somewhere. I'm trying to align his eye. Okay, and then you want to grab his legs and make sure that he is standing perfectly straight. But before you do that, you actually want to have his legs and split them. And basically he is ready for combination so set him off to the side and then bring in the display stand and what you want to do with the display stand to prepare it for the combination is you just want to pull this black piece off and replace it with this this is an adapter for the Neo Zeong and it attaches the same exact way you just plug it right into that hole and there you go you have it plugged in this is the upright position which is what I usually have it uh, posed in or you can just peg it in the down position and have it look like it's flying forward I for this review I'm just going to have it 
uh, plugged in upright because I am going to just send him directly back to the shelf as soon as his review is over. So, um, next thing you want to do is you want to bring in the giant pair of thruster pants. So, we're going to readjust the camera because this guy's going to start getting big. So, what you want to do is you just want to take this and plug it right into that hole right inside of there, just like so. And there you have the giant pair of Neo Zeong thruster pants. <laughs> And why I call them pants is because now you want to plug him on. You just use the port right down there, used for the display stand, and have him basically just ram this up his crotch, is basically what you're doing. So, just put that right in there. Kind of hard to do with one hand. Just line him properly so that he will get in, and then <clears throat> just push him down once you get him in there. Uh, get this sort standing. You want to make sure that he's got his feet in there first before you plug him in. And then just kind of align everything properly and make sure you have his legs how you want them, like so. Come to the back here, make sure that you have all of this straight and looking good, like that. And let's make sure his eye and everything is looking straight forward. There we go. And then the shoulder pads, you just want to have them facing straight up and facing straight out to the side like so and then what you want to do is you want to take this piece which is the chest plate and here is that and you just want to use this section right here which will peg on right here so you just clip that on like so like that and the reason why I say it's easier when you don't have his arms because his arms are supposed to fit down in this spot but his arms are a little bit too long and the lack of elbows does not help the problems so I'm just not going to do them also another thing I want to show off is if you pull off the giant thrusters there is details underneath them so if you don't want to have these giant thrusters uh, slash the fuel cans sticking out of the bottom of the Neo Zeong you can just remove them and have your Neo Zeong with uh, the standard Zeong look to it so there we have that make sure his eye is facing forward like so actually there we go. Uh, you want to come back here to the back section, and on both of these sides of the ports, you want to have these pegged on. I think, no, never mind, I had that wrong. Um, you would think that you can just keep these plugged in, but we're about to eliminate that. So what you want to do is you want to grab these things, and I do have the uh, secondary arms deployed on both of them. I don't feel like having them stored. They're probably just gonna fall off anyways. So, you just want to plug the ball joint right into the side, like so. And before you do that, you want to make sure it goes over the shoulder. And then, you want to come back here and plug it into the ball joint. And then, bring it over the shoulder and tab it in to that slot on either side. So, you have it just like that. And in doing so, it's probably going to place the shoulder in there off place. But I don't feel like trying to deal with that. Is gonna make the, vi the video take much longer. So, and after that, you just wanna grab the opposite side and you just want to do the same thing. So, pull it over there, swing it around inside, and then, boom, plug it in. And okay, that's gonna start bothering me. So, ripping that off, straightening that back out. I don't know why, but every single time I do this combination right here, every single time I equip the Neo Zeong, it always wants to make the right shoulder armor for the Sananju go all out of whack. See, it's always shoving it forward and I don't know why. It's really, it's really irritating. I can't stand it. I love this model to death. This is probably my favorite model that I own, but I hate the fact that it keeps doing this. See, it is doing it again. I'm going to just angle this thing entirely back and see if that helps at all. So, plugging that in and plugging that in and that did not help whatsoever oh my lord i really hate this thing i love it but i hate it i i love looking at it it's a cool piece to have but i hate trying to do this combination this combination is annoying to do and i don't even know why you just fell over you usually never fall over and of course one of your secondary arms had to fall off oh well that's what you get for paying twenty dollars for a piece of crap i guess so, plugging on that secondary arm again. 
straighten out his Neo's young arm, making sure everything's nice and aligned. Slide that back over. Okay, this time if it gets out of line, I don't even care. I'm still just, it's, it's good enough, who cares? Oh my God, seriously. <laughs> Sorry, that was irritating me so bad. I don't like it when things do annoying crap on purpose just because the designers suck and don't know what they're doing. I just really hate it. I wish that they would be a little bit more professional and make things work the way they should. So there we have the Neo Zeong. But to finish the combination, you just want to grab these little fuel thruster th things. Uh, make sure that his thrusters are actually looking decent. Like so. I usually just like to kind of tilt them inward like that. I think it just looks cooler. And then I grab these thrusters here and I just kind of angle them out like so. And of course this isn't even plugged in properly. I just like to have that, have that sticking out. This came undone. And this arm's falling off. And so there we have the Neo Zeong, or the extremely cheap version of it, I should say. <laughs> uh, but, uh, oh, wait, hang on. I forgot one more thing. You want to grab the shield, you want to pull it off right here in this section, and the ball joint didn't come with it, of course. There's nothing's been going right in this video at all. So there, the ball joint still fell off, but so boom, there we go. Just like that. And then you want to grab the shield and you want to use that port that the ball joint was in. And you want to plug it. Well, actually, you can have the thrusters linked in. You want to plug it just like that. So it is going over the head. So rotating him. And now let's properly put these thrusters I guess pointing down because that's the really the only way you can do it uh, and also ignore what's going on with these two things I it didn't feel like putting those on how they're supposed to look I mean it's making everything look all wonky and kind of crappy looking but there's really nothing I could do about it uh th those arms are super irritating I usually don't even have them on at all I just Actually, for you know what, for I'm just going to go ahead and get them through so that we can just pull them off. Articulation on these, there's a ball joint here, and then there is a swivel right here, and then these little hands are on ball joints. So, all the arms are articulated the exact same way, so I'm just going to pull them all off because none of them are good at all. They all they all suck. Every single one of those arms are bad. But, uh, all right, you're rest of the, let's go over the articulation while we're at it. Uh, these things are on ball joints, these little like fuel pod things, those are on ball joints. The little thruster things down here, they're on ball joints, so you can kind of angle those however you want. Same articulation in the head, uh, the arms are ball jointed right here, the elbow is ball jointed, and the hand is ball jointed. And that's pretty much it for the articulation, things really just a giant block. But it's not known for being super dynamic, it's known for destroying everything. So, um, let's get on to the accessories. Uh, first off is the Beam Bazooka. So, to prepare it for its combination with the Neo Zeong, just pull off the barrel. And then you come to either one of these panels here, and you lift them up, and they're going to come off because they suck. You just want to try to get them to stay in the upright position. They both do open, of course, revealing lots and lots of Gatling guns and missile pods everywhere which is kind of cool. And then you will see that there's these two holes on either side that are empty, but sadly you only get one of these, so you can't do it on either side. So you only get one boob cannon, or shoulder cannon technically. Um, it's not wanting to work for some reason or another. It's because they suck. Nothing in this combination is good whatsoever. It basically it's that. I'm not even gonna try to fiddle with it because this thing is really starting to irritate me. Uh, so just closing those back up and making sure they don't fall off, which I've never had them fall off before, but I have heard that they do. So uh, that's the accessory there. Um, it does come with a halo, so backing this up and angling that up a little bit, backing him up. It does come with this little yellow halo, and that does plug in at the very tip of the shield. And so there you can have the Neo Zeong 
being an angel. And this is never shown in the anime. I'm pretty sure there's some kind of symbolic thing behind it, but that's never seen in the anime. And then it comes with this giant ring right here, which mine actually broke right down here, but that doesn't really make a difference because it doesn't need it to be fixed. But basically you plug it in using these two tabs on either side and that tab right up there. And what that does, actually no, it goes with that tab facing turn at the bottom where to go. So basically what you do is you just bring it right under there like so, you can't even see what I'm doing. You just plug that into that Neo Zeon, uh, or Neo Zeon logo right there. And then these will plug in to these ports on the back of the shoulders, like so. If it will cooperate and stop being a piece of crap, that would be delightful. So there you go. You have this giant ring on the back, which I'm pretty sure I put that on wrong. Yeah, I put that on wrong. These are supposed to be behind the thrusters, or in front of the thrusters, and something just fell off, of course. Oh, this thing is really starting to irritate me a lot. Like, you know what? If you already saw what it looked like. Who cares anymore? I really don't care. I could care less. You saw what it looked like. You know what I mean by the giant ring in the back. It shows it on the box art. I mean, come on. But uh, yeah, so, and why is this falling off? So, this is the Neo Zeong. Sorry, sorry this review didn't seem as good as some of my other reviews. I have not been feeling very good today at all. I'm surprised I even actually got up to do this review. And to top it off, this thing being a piece of junk at this one moment, whenever it's a really good model kit, it just wants to be a piece of junk at this one moment in time, just to irritate me just because the camera's on. But uh, let's go ahead and do the size comparisons while we're just standing around here complaining. <laughs> uh, so first up is, for none of these are actually even to properly scale with this guy, but first up is this little uh, acrylic, I think it's acrylic, I don't know what it is, but it's this really heavy uh, emoji face of the Mangle from Five Nights at Freddy's, who... Uh, is she is my all-time favorite uh, Five, Nights at, Five Nights at Freddy's character, and so here she is to scale with the Neo Zeong is pretty much just the size of its head. So yeah. Oh, and another thing I actually do want to say is, um, most super deformed models can be used inside the Neo Zeong. I've done it with the super deformed Destiny that I reviewed a long time ago. I've done it with the Delta Plus, which I also reviewed a while back, and the. Build burning and the, I don't even think I've tried the Aegis Gundam, but I'm pretty sure it won't fit because it's uh, a different form of SD Gundam, it's an older one, but uh, moving on, um, here we have the Kabaya Kits Motor Master, so you can see how much he is dwarfed, but this guy's pretty small anyways because these Kabaya Kits are not big at all. Here is with Combiner War Shockwave, which I actually did figure out something new. Uh, if you don't push the hips up all the way, if you bring them down just as much as they will allow it, that actually makes a big difference. It kind of makes Shockwave look a little bit better proportioned. Uh, it doesn't make too much of a giant difference, but if you actually just sit here and look at him for a little bit with his hips like that, it just looks a little bit better, to me at least. So, uh, yeah. So there's Combiner Wars Shockwave with this guy. So you can see that. Um... Here is the guy that I actually just recently reviewed, the Funko Five Nights at Freddy's Freddy Fazbear action figure, so you can see how big them two are compared to each other. So, taking off Freddy Fazbear real quick, and a scale that I'm pretty sure some people would probably like to see with Combiner Wars Bruticus, that doesn't have Bruticus's arms. So, there they are with the Combiner Wars uh, Combiner. <laughs> I know Bruticus doesn't have his normal arms, he still doesn't. I actually just saw a blast off at the store the other day. I just didn't get him, but uh, so there's that. If you guys want to see how big that scales, he basically just goes up to Bruticus's hips, which makes sense because this guy's pretty small. But this is if this was the full version, this thing would be like way up here compared to the Combiner Wars figures. So because the Sinatra by itself is a massive model kit, which you actually saw in the last voting, which was on the Freddy Fazbear review. You guys would actually already know about how big that <clears throat> the Sinanju is, and the Neo Zeong, okay, this is supposed to be a chibi style kind of thing, or chibi, however you say it, I don't even care, but, okay, the 
Okay, imagine this being the actual Neo Zeon, because this is pretty close to how it's actually proportioned. Except the shoulders are a little bit smaller, they stick out a little bit more, and the arms are a little bit longer, and this waist section is also a little bit <clears throat> squished in more. But imagine this in Andrew's head being about that big on him. Pretty much just look at this entire scale and the Sinanju's head being that big. The Sinanju is a very large model kit. The Sinanju probably stands about as tall as the Neo Zeon or bigger. So that's pretty massive. It's a pretty massive model kit. Uh, I've seen pictures where it's a box, just a box alone. It's so big it can barely fit into the back of an SUV van. So that was pretty impressive. Uh, they couldn't even close the trunk properly, but uh, uh, that's enough rambling. Uh, let's do the voting. So for today's vote, we just have two guys this time. It is the High Grade Victory Dash Gundam, which is that guy over there, and the High Grade Star Build Strike right here. So this is who we have um, for the voting today. The High Grade Star Build Strike or the High Grade Victory Plus, I think it's the victory, the victory dash. I, don't, I can't remember what it was called. The victory, yeah, it's the victory dash. I don't even know why I said victory plus. But here we have the victory, the high grade victory plus or the high grade star build strike. There being I up there at the top, so pick which one of these two you want to be featured in the next review, uh, which will not be tomorrow. <laughs> the, well, uh, yeah, tomorrow's Friday, so it might it might be reviewed tomorrow. Unless they promise to have something else reviewed on Friday, so uh, we will be taking a look at that. And I also. Uh, I think it's this Saturday. I will be getting the next member of the uh, Freddy Fazbear team, I guess you could say. And that will most likely be either Bonnie or Foxy. So, stay tuned next week, most likely Monday, for that review. Because that will be coming very soon. So, guys, uh, once again, this is the review, part two, for the Neo Zeong who won the last voting. And this has been the two-part review showing the Sinanju, or Sinanju, whatever you want to say it, and the Neo Zeong. So, I am Shockwave640, and I want to tell you thanks, my little Logicons, for watching your review. And be sure to tell me how you feel down in the comment section below, and why not like, comment, and subscribe. I'll be seeing you later.